Today, I would like to uh, uh, present the true contact for the extension osteotomy. It's a very useful surgical approach to stabilum, uh, femoral uh, come type deformity for femoral osteobular impingement and osteobular fractures, and very useful approach. Every orthopedic surgeon must learn this. Notice the um, uh, 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 illustration. Uh, notice the deep femoral artery, medial femoral circumflex artery, which main uh, main uh, suppliers of suppliers of the femoral head. Look at the shaded areas in dark brown brown direct axis in light brown digital or clamp axis look at the red lines look at the uh, red lines and notice the uh, modification of approaches now notice the second incision uh, I prefer to make modified Gibson approach. This means the uh, proximal uh, incision just like uh, down, downwards. Superficial surgical dissection. Deepen the incision to raw the subcutaneous fat. The interval between the clitoris maximum and medius must be detonated. This is accomplished more easily in the proximal portion of the wound. The facial incision is contained distal recipient iliotibial tract longitudinally. In some cases, it may be necessary to leave portion of the gluteus maximus tendinous insertion onto the femur in the distal portion of the wound. This facilitates posterior retraction in the larger patient. After passing the facial lata, now find the interval between the gluteus maximus and the medius. According to my suggestion, this slide is the most important slide. If you uh, be, uh, want to be successful, learn this slide and deeply uh, investigate and notice these all details. Two vascular landmarks assist in the identification of external rotator anatomy. Trochanteric anastomosis communicates with the ascending branch of the medial circumflex artery. This is, uh, site just like locates in the cranial border of the quadratus femoris. The second landmark is provided by the superior gluteal artery branch, which tra traverses the inferior border, border of the piriformis tendon. This vessel also anastomoses with ascending medial circumflex artery. Develop the piriformis muscle. This requires inferior retraction of the piriformis and superior retraction of the medius. The minimus is sharply mobilized be beginning along the, its inferior facial border. This release extends posterior to the greater sciatic notch, taking care to avoid injury to the superior gluteal neurovascular bundle. The initial anterior dissection proceeds to mid supraostabular area. develop the minimus and piriformis interval this is the very important trochanteric osteotomy the plane of the trochanteric is then prepared by cauterizing the trochanteric anastomic vessels it may be useful to, to predrill the trochanteric for subsequent reattachment period to osteotomy the osteotomy is then carried out from the tip of the trochanter to the base of the vastus tubercle using a cell in cold oscillating cell. A small portion of the medius tendon is left temporarily attached to the intact femur until the trochanter can be mobilized. This provides an additional way to prevent injury to the reticular vessels caused by the excessively thick osteotomy. Notice the plane of the trochanteric osteotomy. It's very crucial. Deeply investigate this slide. The osteotomy. 
The plane of the trochanteric anatomy is then prepared by cotelanic the trochanteric anatomy anatomic anastomotic vessels. It may be useful to predict the trochanter subsequent reattachment period to osteotomy. As you notice, piriformis gemellus superior, obturator internus and gemellus inferior. Keep the attachment and the quadratus femoris also keep the attachment to the bone. And between gluteus medius and piriformis, and um, under uh, uh, under the gluteus medius there's gluteus minimus. And you see trochanteric osteotomy plane. Notice the places of Hoffman structures. And notice posterior wall of vestibulum now is visible. You, we can make capsulotomy. Perform Z-shaped capsulotomy. Yeah, we can and now uh, dislocate the hip joint uh, to the anterior side. Figure of four position is uh, very uh, crucial to know uh, this position, and we need a sterile push in front of the patient. And if needed, the gamantum teres should be divided. And then uh, notice this all very great figure. Careful a look at the uh, Hoffman retractors and uh, realize please the place of the uh, in other retractors and other uh, anatomic structures. Visualization of anterior column and limb. The dislocation is best used for visual visualization and reduction of the anterior column or or anterior limb of a pubic pubic segment. However, because of the soft tissue limitations, it's usually necessary to relocate the hip to provide access for implant insertion. The sequence of dislocation and reduction may have to be repeated multiple times during the reconstruction. Closure. For many fractures of the surgical exposure is now complete. It is possible with the exposure to, to tunnel anterior Short, uh, uh, short X and rotator tendons for plate application along the posterior column. If this becomes so difficult, we perform this and conjoint tendon of the obturator internus and gemelli muscles can be released. When the reconstruction is completed, the capsule is closed loosely to allow drainage of any secondary hemarthrosis. Trochanter is then reattached with luxic creeps, number 2 3, diameter. 3.5 and, 3 .5 and 4. 4 of scripts. The vast of the transparency is repaired and short of the tendons are re approximated. Deep drains are placed as needed. Gluteus maximus tendon is repaired and lastly, the tract and the gluteal fascia are closed.